Coming up next, it's a UFC women's flyweight division matchup. I'm not sure if she's a third degree or a fourth degree Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. All I know is that you are in imminent danger every time she closes the distance. Oh, the belt color hasn't changed, John, but they are just adding stripe after stripe after stripe. <laughs> she's got so many stripes on her Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt that it's unbelievable. And because of that ability to do Jiu Jitsu at such a high level, it's almost like you're going into biology class whenever you go on the ground right. with her. Because as you're thinking, if I do step one to get to step two, she's already on step five. Right. She's working on the finish before you even understand that you're in danger. The, the quick strike ability in the jiu-jitsu is something not many people possess. I cheated to pass my biology final in college. <laughs> I wish there was a way to cheat in jiu-jitsu, <laughs> but she doesn't need to. Big spot for her here tonight. All right, so here she is, the decorated kickboxer, back for another run here in the UFC. Such a wide, vast array of kicks and punches in her arsenal, but it all comes back to elite technique. Oh, yeah, she has phenomenal technique. There is no wasted action. What I really love is the left hook. She does a great job of throwing her left hook behind her right hand. She throws the right hand, and the left hook follows. It's always so tight. It's always so clean. And then outside leg kick, every combination ends with a kick. When you think it's over, she's putting one more technique, one more opportunity to put some damage on you before you get to go back to space and go back to the safety of her out of your face, which will only last for a short period of time. She certainly has a crowd-pleasing style. No surprise to see her back in a high-profile slot here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. <laughs> Flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of six wins, five losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Ashley Evans Smith. And now introducing her opponent, fighting. Out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 121 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the chosen one. Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch gloves and we are underway. Round one, and this one could get pretty interesting here early. The Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt taking on the decorated striker. Your thoughts on how this one might play? I think you're gonna see the striker fight at range. You're gonna see her try to use her jab to keep her opponent away from her. Expect some front kicks, expect a lot of space creating strikes to make sure that she's not engaging in the Jiu Jitsu. The moment this fight gets to the ground, she's constantly in danger. If this jiu-jitsu player can get her hands around her opponent, she'll start to drag her to the mat and then start to ultimately try and find a way to finish the fight by submission. Man, she might punch harder than you. Nice connection there. I don't know about that, John, but she is a fast, accurate striker. Plus right hand is true. Evan Smith gets in the clinch yet again. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's in something. Can't take many of those, you better check. And 
and she's back in the clinch. Real sneaky body. Kick. Big power shots landing. Oh, how good was that right hand? Beautiful connection by her there. Right down the pipe and right on the chin. Oh, nice punch there by the hyphen, Ashley Evans Smith. Lands the right hand. Evan Smith gets the tie clinch here. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Evan Smith going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. Nice. Good punch land. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing it. Beautiful straight punch, and now her opponent's firmly on the ropes. But she can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Big knee lands there. That right hand hurt. Oh, straight right. Big knee. And they separate. We'll see how it goes. That was lucky. Nice strike. Oh! Round two coming up next. Ready? How about that shin? Got clip with the right hand. Well, she's had a lot of moments in the fight. You know, her one is very good, but you're not even getting one, two. What about the one, two? What about the one, two, three? How about an uppercut following the three strikes? Allow them to string together. Be confident in knowing that you have practiced this. You are ready to land in combination. Let it flow. Big kick lands. Oh, she continues to attack that lead leg. Solid leg kick there. Well, that's her power shot right there. She's thrown tonight. Her opponent's her beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. There's no give on that leg. Oh, oh nice punch there by Evan Smith. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants uh, that even trick. What a beautiful and potentially a critical takedown here. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Pretty good right hand. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime. Evan Smith's looking for an arm bar here. Attacking arm bar. Oh, we're getting a finish here. All right, so she's able to work her way back to her feet now. Big kick land. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. She blocked the punch. Oh, how about the slip? This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. The next with a right. Oh! Huge right hand! of 
a four-part play because this fight is about done. All right, let's take a look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. Third round underway. Oh, she just continues to land a high volume of strikes here, really just like she did in the previous round, and she does not seem to be slowing down at all. Nice head kick. You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Whoa! Whoa! You're trying to send a message to the rest of this division. That is how you send it. So a near-perfect shot for her to end the fight. She had this crowd behind her all night long. And I'm not sure how many other fighters in this division could have absorbed that strike and stayed in the fight. A near-perfect land to get the knockout. We go to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at 40 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by well, there she is. This arena belongs to her here tonight. Hard-pressed to find a knockout in the women's game as stunning as that. I mean, she has so much confidence in her hand that she's willing to stand in front of her opponent.